Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am crafting with a new release. It, this is the toolbox release by Spellbinders and it's really, really wonderful. There are a lot of different um, die sets, glimmer sets, and stamp sets. So I am crafting with the die set and look at all of the fun tools that you can create with this die set. There are separate individual dies that allow you to cut out all of the details for these tools like the handles and things like that and that way you can actually have them be whatever color you'd like and it's really really easy to know where everything goes because the bottom most layer the one that I've mostly cut out of um, silver foil card does have deboss lines so it shows you how and where to line up the layers that go on top. So it's it's really easy to use and you get so much incredible detail. Some of these dies have some um, deboss detail as well. So some of the handles, for example, actually have a little bit of that wood green detail, which is really, really wonderful. And it's just a lot of fun to put these together and I am guessing that for things like uh, Father's Day, maybe um, anniversaries, birthdays and stuff, these would really come in handy for um, kind of, you know, the person who's the DIY person in your household <laughs> or, you know, the handy handyman or handywoman in your um, family. So really, really love this. And I try to assemble all of <laughs> the different tools, but there's actually more than what I'm putting together. So you can straight away see like how amazing this set is. And the, um, on the paintbrush that I'm working on here, there's actually a separate die for some paint that's actually dripping. So you can even add that level of detail to the ends of the brush if you wanted. And I love this, the paint roller you can leave without sort of that fuzzy, um, piece that slips on. Um, and as well, you could, you could probably, um, die cut that out of solid color cardstock to, um, to suggest that it's a roller that's, that's been used or even color it if you do die cut it out of white. So a lot of different options for how to, um, assemble these. I've taken one of the, um, I'm still loving the uh, four petal collection and that nested shape die set is just really wonderful. I did a partial die cut of that and I'm actually using a punch to punch memory dex holes at the bottom. And I thought it would be fun to make a couple of memory dex cards. So I'm going to show the first one um, in detail of how I created it. And then uh, I'll, at the end, I'll show you the second one that I created because it's, it's way, way more simple than this first one. But to make the base memory dex, I did the exact same thing. So I just took, and you can really use any shape die. You can use... Um, you know, a hexagon die if you want. You could use, um, you know, a scalloped uh, edge die if you want, a postage edge die if you want. So one, if you have the punch, it's really wonderful because you can really convert any shape die into a memory dex card. And I've die cut using the exact same shape die a layer of this is actual cork it's a thin layer of cork that i did put some double-sided adhesive on the back already before i die cut it and part of the reason for that is i found that this cork it is pretty thin it's 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 meant to be used on you know for paper crafting not 
it's not an actual, uh, it's not thick enough to really be like a cork board that you would stick anything into. And so it can actually break up um, quite easily. And so I found that if you're going to die cut into it, that putting some double sided adhesive on the back helps to really hold everything together. But I still want everything to stick nice and firmly. So I squiggled a little bit of liquid adhesive before gluing this down to um, the black layer of um, my memory dex card. And I did line the back of my memory dex card with another layer of white. That way I have a place to maybe stamp out um, a sentiment or at the very least uh, write a little message. If you're not familiar with memory dex cards, essentially they are sort of like um, Rolodex cards, but where Rolodex cards used to be used to house things like business cards, they um, have been kind of brought into the craft world as a way to um, do memory keeping. And more recently, I think they've been used sort of similar to artist trading cards. So because they're really nice kind of small projects, it's kind of fun to put these together and then uh, swap them. So doing a little bit of a happy mail exchange. And it just so happens in the month of March, I'm actually signed up for three different memory decks swaps. So I thought it would be really fun to make a couple of these um, and that way, just depending on who I get assigned to, I can, I can, um, kind of pick and choose, uh, which one I want to give them. And so, um, with memory decks cards, you can, like I said, if you have the punch, you can use the punch and then, um, cut anything that you like. The width of it, though, if you want it to be able to actually, uh, fit into a standard memory dex holder, you want to keep the width of it to um, four inches or less. That way it'll fit into some of your more standard memory dex holders. And this particular die set, the four uh, petal label die set, I use the second largest die in that set. And if you see where, you know, um, that middle portion where it's nice and straight, that is just under four inches. So, so this will be a little bit smaller than your standard memory dex card, but it will still fit. So that is one of the key requirements. In terms of the height, though, it kind of depends on the style of memory dex holder that you have if you're, if you're planning to use it. Some are, um, flat and there's really no constraint on the height. Some are on a, um, on a stand where your, um, cards can kind of go round and round in a circle. And so with that one, there may be some limitations as to how tall your memory index can be, but it just depends on, um, you know, how, how you like to store or present your memory index cards, how tall you'd like them to be. And there are, there are, um, a lot of different uh, ways to get the memory decks kind of the holes at the bottom. So lots of different dies you can get. I like having the punch because then I can use cool shaped dies like this one and, and get something really kind of unique. So I've, um, figured out my arrangement for the tools that I want to add. And one thing that, that I, uh, realized is that when you're Gluing things onto cork, definitely, it is a porous surface, but it does seem to take a moment to actually grab and uh, dry. And I think part of that is because less to do with the cork, more to do with the fact that I, uh, the base of pretty much all of my tools are that sort of shiny silver foil card. And so that is not quite as porous as the cork. So um, 
So just be sure, just depending on what you're using, uh, give it give it enough time to dry. I found putting an acrylic block to, to help hold it in place and to help hold it down was really helpful as well. And these are just Nouveau drops that I pre-made on a paper liner. So sometimes I buy double-sided adhesive by the sheet and... Um, and also, if you use things like uh, address labels or return address labels, when you're done with those, you can just peel off whatever paper is left and then use that paper liner as well to pre-make your Nouveau drops. And that way, if um, sometimes I get the occasional little splatter or sometimes, you know, some of my drops aren't really perfectly rounded, when I, I find that when I make them on a paper liner, at least that way I can kind of pick and choose the ones I actually want to use. And if there's one that doesn't look so great, then I don't mind just tossing it. So here's the second uh, memory dex card that I made, and that is using the Glimmer plate that is part of this collection. And the nail that is actually from the stamp set that is also part of this collection. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below if you want to check it out. Thank you for um, watching this video and if you subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you so much. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so and that way you'll get a notification whenever I post new videos to my channel. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!